Good morning. This is Rose with the Chandler's Rose and I am going to go over just a few fragrances this morning in different batches. So this morning I'm going over the Ozone Ocean fragrances from Rustic Essentials. This is not a sponsored video. This is me spending my money and either getting the two little minis like here or actually purchasing with my own cash. So I just wanted to go over for some of you who are trying to do your summer fragrances, masculine fragrances, and you may not know the difference. I'm going to tell you right now, out of bottle, these three smell so much alike. This one here, Sea Kelp, actually has a green note to it. And of course, if you smell like algae or kelp or whatever, you know that the ocean can actually have a slightly fishy smell to it it doesn't it does smell green it does smell like ocean it's very clean clear and actually very wonderful i would make um a soap with this i would actually make an aftershave beard oil or even a shower gel with this one here salty sea air as you can see i've already been using in some fragrance blending and i have to say i'm in love i am in absolute love slash lust with this one because again, you have the ocean spray, you have the saltiness, you have, when you smell this out of bottle, it smells like you are at the cape with the seagulls overhead, with the waves crashing on the rocks. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It invokes what it's supposed to invoke, and I am absolutely loving it. Again, this one I would make into a salt scrub, a shower gel, a lotion, a cologne. Very great great absolutely great this one here is ocean breeze ocean breeze if you've ever smelled crisp ocean breeze you know that from many different suppliers it has a horrific windex smell to it this one does not smell like windex whatsoever it actually captures open sea um just again ocean ozone clean clear and I know I keep saying that for all of these, but they all, honest to God, have the same out of bottle. They smell so much alike, like they could be triplets. But there are distinct differences. Now, this one right here is what I would use for more of a green soap. This one I would use for more of a unisex. Don't even want to put gender on it. Just use it. Everybody use it. Wash your bodies. This one here has the slight cologne um, profile to it but it's still clean and clear blue lagoon it it smells like hair pomade if you've ever used the blue hair pomade this is what it smells like it still has an ocean feel to it an ocean vibe but it's heavier than the other fragrances like when you smell this you're like oh yeah yeah, I've actually smelled this from, like, this guy used to go to the 8th grade dance with back in the 80s. I swear to you, it does. Nothing wrong with it, but that's just my thoughts on these, okay? So these are, if you're looking for masculine, unisex, or just even an ocean fragrance, those are my top picks right there, okay? Moving on. Now we're going to discuss and this is supposed to be cucumber garden from um, brambleberry and then I have barley grass from rustic essentials okay so why do I have these two together I have barley grass or grass and cucumber garden together because again some people want an outdoorsy spring is coming or summer is coming spring is here type fragrance this one smells like if you were actually outside gardening and you turned your soil after you planted your cucumbers and watermelon. That smell, that essence that comes up from the dirt, that is what you've got. This is a very light, unisex, um, outdoorsy. It's not green and it's not herbaceous. It's not heavy. It's... You know that it's supposed to be grass. This is basically what it smells like is after um, after all the hay has been harvested and baled, that smell that you get in the in the barn or wherever you're storing them, 
that's what this smells like. So if you want something light that smells like grass, go with this. If you want something earthier, go with this one. Cucumber Garden from Brambleberry. Again, great. Um, they're in the same scent family, in my opinion. They just are... One's more extreme than the other. All right. And then this one right here, if you, this is cherry slush. And this is just my personal opinion. Out of, out of bottle, if you already have like a black cherry fragrance oil, do not buy cherry slush. Because that's all this is, is cherry slush. It doesn't even have an extra fizz to it. Just cherry slush. Um, it, it smells like black cherry. So don't bother. Um, this one right here, pie crust, absolutely smells like pie crust. There is a definite vanilla top note to it. Um, I'm going to actually mix this up with some strawberry and possibly even a rhubarb and see what I can come up with. So this is just part one. I'll be back with part two of my fragrance reviews.